Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, September 11th, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Opposites Attract. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some shaded squares on the grid today. I wonder if these are going to be our opposites that are attracting. Let's start with one across, try to hit. I really want this to be something like SWAT at? Let's see if that's right. Org created under FDR. I wonder if that's going to be the Social Security Administration? Howler of a movie. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about a funny movie. I wonder if this is going to be a movie about a dog or a werewolf. Is it going to be Wolfman? That would be pretty clever. He's this in a 1963 hit for the Chiffons. Oh man, he's so what? Is it he's so fine? Hmm, I'm not sure. Is this an F? Beset. I guess it could be afflicted. That's too long though. Hmm, this would be an I. A rant? That could be a tirade. This could be an N. So let us begin blank. JFK. Is that a new? So let us begin a new. That sounds right. Talk acronym. Hmm. What are they talking about here? This would be an E. Hmm. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Is this intersecting one of the theme answers? No, it's not. Hmm. That one seems a little weird to me. I'm not sure what kind of acronym they're talking about. Persian blank, rug maker's deliberate mistake. I guess that has to be flaw. I've never heard of this before. Is that kind of like a signature that they put in to prove that they made the rug? Interesting. Within, that could be a mid. Red block in Minecraft, that could be TNT. Rearward to a rear admiral. So this is going to be rearward on a ship, that'll be aft. Beset. Hmm. What is this? It has to be an F. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Let's take a look at this. This has got to be part of our theme. English poet who wrote The Highwayman. Hmm. This doesn't look familiar to me. It seems like it has to start with Alfred though, right? Oh, this is going to be a TED talk. And TED is an acronym. That's right. Man, that was hard to see. Oh man, this is so tricky. This could be a verb or an adjective. I was thinking adjective all the way, but it's actually a verb. It'll be afflict instead of afflicted. What is this? Accept imminent punishment. Hmm. Is it going to be face the facts? Is it facts? No, I think it should be face the music, right? That's more like facing punishment. So, what is this? Themis? That doesn't really mean anything to me. It doesn't mean anything backward either. Hmm. Sopranos highlights. Well, that should be Arias, right? Yeah. Hmm. Southwestern Art Hub. What is that? It's got to be the Southwestern United States. Hmm. It shares space with hashtag. Is that a three on a telephone? Is that right? No, the three has letters on it. They must be talking about a computer keyboard that shares a space with a hashtag. Yeah, the three and the hashtag. All right, that makes sense. One of Neptune's moons. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna know this one. I wonder if we can get this. Prop then enabled Houdini to walk through a brick wall. Hmm. I don't think I've seen this stunt. Model for a grade schooler. I imagine this is going to be a diorama. Mountain residence. Hmm. I wonder if they're talking about a specific place. U.S. is kind of unusual. Numbskull. Is that going to be adult? It could be. Woes. That's got to be ills. Hmm, maybe this is Olympus? Yeah, it's a very specific mountain. 
argues two L's? That can't be right. This has to be wrong. Hmm. What three dots might mean. I don't know what they're talking about here. Hmm. Argues. What is this one? Humorist Bombeck. Okay, that's Irma Bombeck. One of Neptune's moons. We didn't get a lot more help here. Like dipsticks? Okay, they're not talking about numbskulls. I think they're talking about the dipsticks in your car. That would be oily, right? That's pretty funny. Second half of an incantation. Ooh, um, it's not abracadabra. Is it hocus pocus? I think it is. It has to be the second part, so it'll be pocus. What was this? Maybe it's a trap door. That would make a lot of sense. Argues. Maybe that could be pleads. You're like arguing in front of a judge. And then this could be a dope. I would want this to be etc. I think ills has to be right though, so it can't be etc. One of Neptune's moons. Oh boy. This is very tricky, this cross of proper nouns here. Hmm. Well, let's hope we can figure out the theme, and that'll help us get the end of Alfred here. Accomplish on behalf of... Is that just going to be do for? Home of Kenyon College. I've never heard of Kenyon College before. With 108 down, hot stretch of summer. That's got to be the dog days of summer, right? Nice. I suppose this could be Ohio. And what would this be? I know, I know, an equivalent phrase. That's probably going to be OO with your hand in the air. World Cup Org, that has to be FIFA. Walk, so to speak. Hmm. Are they talking about a walk in baseball? I don't know. Vice President after Pence, that's going to be Kamala Harris. Let's try and get this theme answer. Early American pseudonym. Ooh, um, I think this is going to be Poor Richard. Yeah, I think that was the name Ben Franklin used for Poor Richard's Almanac. So we have Poor Rich. This makes a lot of sense for Opposites Attract. Hmm. I wonder if this is wrong somehow. These are not opposites. The and mus? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. It's them and us. Those are opposites. I just wasn't parsing it correctly. That's so funny. Uh, okay, so maybe this could be no and yes. Alfred Noyes? I think maybe we've seen that name once before. Yeah. And this will be an S? What three dots might mean S? Oh, it's three dots in Morse code, like in SOS. Oh my goodness. Is this Nereid? Isn't that a kind of nymph? Word with open or pigeon. That could be open toad, pigeon toad, yeah. There we go, we finally got that cleaned up. And the theme actually did help, that's great. And now we know how the theme is working. That's going to be a big boon for the rest of the puzzle. Maybe this is going to be go free. You could walk from prison or something. Yeah. Napoleonic blank. I think that's the Napoleonic era. Org created under FDR again. Hmm. It's four letters. I'm not sure about this one. Shower. Boy, this is kind of ambiguous. It could be a noun or a verb. Eponym for one of the Earth's five oceans. Eponym. Uh, hmm. Well, is it the Pacific or the Atlantic? There's the Indian Ocean. The Arctic Ocean. I'm forgetting one. Hmm, what is this gonna be? Baby bearer, maybe. Hmm. Is it the stork? I guess it could be. Stove toppers. That's got to be hoods, right? Moment of inspiration. I think that should be a flash of inspiration. Let's hope we get some of those on today's puzzle. What this might mean. And this is a quotation mark. I guess it can also mean ditto. 
Yeah, nice. Digs in the ice, and this is wordplay, so this is not about digging for ice cores or something. Hmm. Digs in the ice. Digs is another word for a place to live. So maybe this could be an igloo. That would be digs in the ice. Yeah, very funny. So this should be FDIC. That makes sense. And this is shower. It looks like it's going to begin with light. I suppose it could be shower. Like someone who's showing something to you. Is this a T? Sounds of disapproval. Yeah, that should be Tisks. And this is Atlas. Oh, I guess the Atlantic Ocean is named after Atlas. I don't think I knew that. Republic toppled in 1933. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Is this in China? I actually don't know. Helen Reddy's signature hit. I don't know this one either, ooh. Let's see if we can get these. Rapper fiasco? Uh, oh no, I don't know this either. This is turning into a fiasco. I personally, is that myself? Yeah. Suzhou Museum Architect. I'm gonna guess that's I am Pei. Uh, is this Lupa? I don't know. Tom Jones and Anthony Hopkins by birth. Is this like a nationality or is it an astrological sign? Hmm. Six day war combatant abbreviated. I guess that's going to be Israel. Hmm. I still don't know about this one. Brotherly figures. Is that going to be friars? Those are brothers in a religious context. Instrument that makes a tsst sound. It sounds like a snare drum. Hmm, I don't know. Works a wedding, perhaps. I think this should be caters. Yeah, helpful connections is gonna be inns. Does that help here? Hmm, I guess this could be a state also. I'm still not sure about this one. Yeah, blank master's voice. Isn't that his master's voice? Wasn't that an RCA tagline? Yeah. Hmm. This is not a sitar? I think this is right. Hmm. Oh boy. Magic power. What is that? Hmm. Doctrine of East Asia. I guess that could be Tao. Maybe this is Mojo? That could be. Mounds of activity. I think this is going to be ant hills. Those are very little mounds of activity. One always having a place to hide. Hmm. What is that talking about? Neighbor of Jammu and Kashmir. Hmm. Kashmir, that's kind of near India and Pakistan, right? Is it Punjab? That sounds right to me. I have no idea what this is talking about. It has to be something very specific. The standard. Hmm. What is that? A standard could be a flag. It could be a song, too. Hmm. Caesar salad ingredient. There's not that many ingredients to a Caesar salad. It's not romaine lettuce. It's not croutons. Hmm. Interesting. Pro Bowl side for short. I think that should be the AFC. Item with straps. Is that a bra? This is starting to look like it's going to be two from, isn't it? So this should be an O. One who gave us all a lift. And this is wordplay. So this is not someone who made us all feel better. I think this is Otis, the inventor of the elevator. Very funny. I think we can put an M in here. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's salesman. <laughs> that wouldn't fit anyway. Hmm. What in the world is this? Wow, this section is super tough. Uh, what is this? Oh my god. Ground. I guess this could be Earth. Yeah. 
the standard, it's par. Yeah, it's the expected. Approach gradually. I want it to end in up to. Hmm. I'm in trouble, an equivalent phrase. This should be help me, right? Oh, this is going to be about romaine lettuce. It's going to be heart of romaine. Nice. Wow, that is a really cool phrase. Hopefully that'll help us get these kind of tricky answers here. Helen Reddy, right. Is it I am a woman? That would fit. That's kind of a guess, though. It is looking like it should be sitar. It's not tis master's voice, it's his master's voice. Hmm. Make bubbly. That should be aerate. Okay. Oh, it's the Weimar Republic. <laughs> yeah, that was a dark period. Okay. Oh, is it Welshman? That would make a lot of sense. And this is a hi-hat. Those are the two symbols in a drum set. Yeah, they do make that kind of sound. Excellent. Okay. Curse out? Is that going to be swear at? Yeah. Bird associated with bats. Why would it be associated with bats? OR. Hmm. Natural fertilizer. That's going to be manure. It's a light rain. That's a kind of shower. Same old, same old. Is that routine? That would give us out in for our opposites. Yeah, that makes sense. He set a Guinness World Record in 2014, reporting for 34 consecutive hours. Reporting for? Hmm. What are they talking about here? I guess it has to be a reporter. This looks like it's going to be an Oriole. Oh my god, they're talking about baseball bats because the Orioles is a baseball team. I love that clue. That's really funny. And this is looking like it's going to be Al Roker. Maybe he was reporting about a storm that was happening? That would be my guess. Boob tubes. This has to be TVs, right? This is Tov, Mazel Tov, that's right. Ike, Clanton at the OK Corral, that sounds vaguely familiar. Flying blank, martial arts strike, that's gotta be a flying knee. Development in cryptography. Hmm, is it a key to like break a cipher? Friendly conversation ender, that's gotta be cheers. Listen, and this is an equivalent phrase. It's not hey. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mountbank? <laughs> um, I know I've seen this word before. What does that mean? Is it like a churl? I can never remember exactly what this means. I want to say it's like someone who acts tough but isn't. I don't know about that. Horse-drawn carriage. I want to say that's a shay. Maybe it is a churl. Someone who's churlish? Listen. Maybe that's Hark. Yeah, that makes sense. Popular beer brand casually. Hmm. There's so many beer brands. With 93 across, Young River Critter. Is that going to be an otter pup? I think they're pups, aren't they? Okay, so this is not a churl. Hmm. What is it, though? Oh, you know what? This is probably Stella for Stella Artois. Baited online. That's got to be trolled. One side of the coin. Hmm. Uh, maybe if you're talking numismatics, it could be the obverse. Yeah, there's the obverse and the reverse. The obverse is the front. Name hidden backward in excellent. I guess that has to be Nell. Literary Utopia. Is this a utopia that was in a book? Hmm. Goods for sale abbreviated. I think this has to be the abbreviation for merchandise. Sought redress in a way. That should be sued. Tour de France distance units abbreviated. That must be kilometers. Noted singer behind Winona Judd's Tell Me Why and Linda Ronstadt's All My Life. I'm definitely not going to know this. 
It looks like it has to be Carla, though. I don't know what the last name is going to be. I think this is going to be Xanadu, right? I think it's with a Z. Scramble some eggs, say. Ooh, this is kind of out of my wheelhouse. It seems like this is going to be break, though. So shouldn't this be fix? Yeah, it's Xanadu with an X. I don't know why I can never remember that. That's so funny. Okay, so this should be fix breakfast. There we go. That's our opposites. Let's see if we can work back up towards this section. It has its ratios for short. I imagine that's trig, trigonometry. Some hangouts for remote workers. This is such a funny clue. This is not working your job remotely. I think this is someone who's working a remote control. You would be hanging out on sofas. What a clever clue. Norman or English king. This is more wordplay, so this is not going to be some kind of British monarch. Hmm. What is this? Norman or English king. What? Hmm. This looks very weird. Interesting. I need help on this one. Opts. Hmm. I wonder if we have something wrong here. One always having a place to hide. Oh, that's going to be a turtle. Yeah, it always brings its hiding place with it. Women's blank? Is it women's lit? Worker with a comb. What kind of worker are we talking about? Shouldn't this be elects? Oh, it's not sofas? That's so funny. Uh, what is it going to be then? Hmm. Remote workers. Oh, I guess it's cafes. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought this was a misdirection, but it was just straightforward. Yeah, there's a lot of remote workers in cafes. That's so funny that sofas fit too. Norman or English king. This feels like it has to be Lear. It's about King Lear, the Shakespeare play. I'm not sure exactly why this clue would lead you to Lear. I mean, he's sort of an English king, right? It was an English play. This, I think the joke is going over my head. I do think it has to be Lear though. And this cannot be T. Maybe this is women's lib instead of women's lit. And this would be a B because they're working in honeycomb. That's very funny. Okay, so yeah, it's not somebody working at a salon. Is this Taos? Is that right? Northernmost NBA city on scoreboards. I think there's the Toronto Raptors, right? This should be an S. Place side by side. Hmm, maybe this is a pose? Let's see. Her name is Greek for all gifted. Starts with a P. Interesting. Hmm. Job with numerous applications. And this is more wordplay, so this is not a job that a bunch of people are applying for. This has to be a job where you apply a lot of something. Hmm. I'm not sure. There's a lot of jobs that fit that description. Placate. Ooh, um, hmm. I think I need a little bit of help here. Jack of old TV. I think this is Jack Parr. He used to host The Tonight Show. Hmm, what is this? Wrestler's goal, that should be a pin. Hmm, it's over here. It's over here. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I think I spelled par wrong. This should be two A's. Is it Panacea? Ooh. Was that a Greek god? Panacea? An ace. That doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. An and ace are not opposites. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Applications. What is this across? Spots for snorkeling. I wonder if that could be shoals. Yeah, you could snorkel around shoals. Wrap on a rancho. Hmm. Uh, it's not a poncho. Shouldn't this be a peas? 
Is this a pose with an A? I think it might be. That would mean that Shoals is wrong. I think a P sounds really good though. It's over here. Hmm. None of this looks particularly good. Although I think this could be a serape. Yeah, I think that's a kind of rap. Hmm. In praise of folly essayist. Ooh, I don't know. Boy, this is a tricky little section. A few weeks ago, probably. Probably. A few weeks ago is three weeks, so that would probably be last month. Unless you're in the last week of the month. Wow. <laughs> I guess this is going to be atolls, like the bikini atoll. Maybe this is going to be a painter. Yeah, that would be applying a lot of paint. Is it the end? I guess, because this should be Pandora, right? And or, those are opposites. Why is this end? Oh, because when you reach the end, it's over. It's over here. Wow, what a tricky clue. Um, I'm gonna guess this is Erasmus. I've just heard that name before. It sounds like an old Greek writer. Approach gradually. Yeah, that's gonna be ease up to. We were kind of close with our first guess. Tribal circle, perhaps. Is it teepees? It could be a circle of teepees. Burden. Hmm, maybe that's try. You're trying my patience. Meeting with a deadline. And this is more wordplay. Hmm, I would want this to be about talking with the dead. I would want it to be a seance. That would fit if try was wrong. I really like that answer. Um, I'm not really sure what line means. Meeting with a dead line? I guess it's a line of communication, a seance? Maybe this could be tax. There we go. Lifts up. Hmm. Is it exalts? Yeah, you're praising someone? Go to sleep without. Wait a minute, shouldn't that be conks? Is it extols? That would work too. This could be conk out. Blank Martell, Game of Thrones princess. I did read these books. It's been a while. Oof, I don't think I can remember. Total mess could be a sty. Still competing. That's got to be in it. Longtime sports journalist Jim. I don't know if I know this. This is probably an E. This is a tricky proper noun cross. Let's see what this theme answer is. It's going to be with don't. This has to be a D, right? Do, don't. Branch of dentistry that specializes in root canals. Uh... Okay, this should be dontix. That's kind of the dentist suffix. I don't know how it's going to start, though. Hmm. Cracker Jack. Uh, well, if you're Cracker Jack at something, you're really good at it. Maybe it could be adept? That's a great word. I love this term, Cracker Jack. Smile or shine. That should be beam. Deck out with spangles. Hmm. This is about decorating. Interesting. The other side. Hmm. I don't think they're talking about the other side in a seance. Interesting. Davis of Thelma and Louise. That's Gina Davis. You can't run on this for long. You can't run on empty for long. George Washington chopping down a cherry tree and others. <laughs> yeah, that's a myth. Uh, I guess this is begem. What a funny word. I guess this is enemy, so this is endodontics. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Hmm, large electromotive unit. That looks like it's gonna be a megavolt. Yeah, so this is McKee, Jim McKee. Ooh, very tricky. I don't think I've seen that name before. All right, we've got one more name we've gotta get. Projecting edge. Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Hmm. What all companies try to make. Shouldn't that be a profit? Hmm. Service charge. That could be a user fee. Scoring figures. That should be points. Strong cleaners. Lies are very strong cleaners. 
Hmm. It's not flank. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. This starts with pay. Oh, is it payroll? Yeah, we have to make payroll or nobody gets paid. Actress Terry. That's Terry Gar. Uh, hmm. Sold out. Maybe that's gone? Taiwan-born filmmaker. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's Ang Lee. Heated an owner's order. Is this a dog heating an order? Maybe that's healed, yeah. Added paper to as a printer. That could be fed. Maybe this is a flange. Ooh, what a piece of vocab there. On, off. Well, those are opposites. That's looking very good. I still don't know what this first letter should be. Hmm. Blank humbug. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully that one's a bit of a gimme. Yeah, that's going to be ba humbug. That's Scrooge's catchphrase. So this is Carla Bonoff. Ooh, I never would have guessed that. Yeah, that's a very tricky name, but thankfully it was crossed very fairly. All right. Well, let's throw this B in there and see if that'll do it for us. Oh, shucks. We've got a square wrong. All right. Let me see if I can track it down. Ooh, here we go. I have a feeling this is going to be our problem square. Yeah, we weren't sure on either of these names. This could easily be McKay and Elia. Let's give an A a try here and see if that will, in fact, do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 47 minutes. That's a respectable time for a Sunday solve. So this was a very nice, relaxing Sunday solve. Yeah, we had this opposites attract theme. So each theme answer today had a section that contained two opposites that are right next to each other. We had no yes, poor rich, them us, to from, and or, out in, fix, break, do, don't, and on, off. Yeah, a lot of these phrases were pretty nice too. I really loved Heart of Romaine. I love that that gets center stage here. Face the Music is really nice. Poor Richard is excellent. Yeah, a lot of these are very fun. So what did this end up being? Mountbank. It's a cheat. Man, we really have to remember that. There was a lot of fun wordplay today. I think one of my favorites was this, Howler of a Movie for Wolfman. That's definitely getting me in the spooky mood. Yeah, Halloween season is coming up soon. Another fun spooky pun was meeting with a deadline for seance. That's great. This was clever too, digs in the ice for igloo. I also liked this one, worker with a comb for bee. It's so funny that we fell into this trap here, some hangouts for remote workers. We were trying to be too clever by half. Yeah, this one ended up being a straightforward clue, which is almost like a double misdirection. Yeah, that was really funny. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday Solve video. It comes directly from me to you. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.